let me grab that chair and we'll start chatting. Do, 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 do. Oh, I was supposed to go to the big green shed today, but oh, I just wasn't feeling it. Well, we moved in here just before Christmas, so we're on six months now. And if you've been watching most of my other updates on the Sunday sessions, you'll notice that it's, it's been it's been raining non-stop. I've transformed it, but it hasn't become the productive garden that I would have liked by now. And that's purely because um, of the rain. The rain has stunted a lot of the growth. And also, it's meant that when I do get the opportunity to go out in the yard, I've just spent it just trying to tidy up, clean it up, because it's just made a mess. Anyway, that's gardening and that's life. It doesn't always work out as you plan. My biggest issue of late has actually been also Harry. And when I refer to Harry, Harry my dog, okay? He's still a bit of a puppy. I thought he got past the digging my garden stage and I had some rocket and some other leafy greens that I'd sown directly into the, the veggie patch and they were going really well <laughs> but he's decided that he was going to dig them up so it meant that I had to start again which is disheartening but we will not stop we will keep growing what I've done yesterday actually because he's digging up the the actual yard I've gone he's digging up the garden beds I've gone and got some concrete Rio and I've just they're Rio bars I've just bent them and um, the idea is that I've put netting over the top I've got to go and buy purchase some more but that um, will hopefully stop him from digging it up the next thing that I'm going to do with the garden shed because I think it looks pretty bad Looks a bit ordinary. I'm going to actually paint it. And I was thinking of doing some sort of design, maybe circles. The garden is also about a reflection of who you are creatively. And you can see if I cut to the video of this space when we first came in here, none of this sort of existed behind me. We had some roses and it was grass. And then originally this was all, so you could see here, this was all um, just grass up until the fence. I've created a garden bed that runs up through here as well as these garden beds behind me. Little tip for you, so the birds have been hacking away at that. If you do see any fruit that's been eaten, chuck them in here. Sort of see this here, this is my worm farm so it doesn't end up becoming or attracting pests. It also then breaks down and helps feed the fruit tree itself. So that's the idea of installing that bin there. These lemons are starting to come on. My mum, my mum used to hate me because, well, she didn't hate me, mum, that's a strong word. My mum didn't hate me, but I used to grab the oranges. These are lemons that drop on the tree and practice with those. And the amount of oranges I used to break. But I didn't realize how noisy it actually got here, so. It's been a bit difficult when filming stuff for the Veggie Patch School, but um, I'm learning to get better sound, all that sort of stuff. But hey, you gotta make do with what you got. When life gives you well lemons, you know what to do. Definitely not normal.